that Casey's drives are known to not only be super tough and easy to use, but come with great performance and reliability too. Very important aspects when it comes to data access and storage. Despite their range of speedy solutions already available, if you're craving even more speed, then you'll want to take a look at this. The Acasis TB501 Pro 80 gigabits per second Thunderbolt 5 based SSD enclosure. The Acasis TB501 Pro isn't just another SSD enclosure, it's a powerful external storage solution designed for creators who push their gear to the limit. It's one of the first enclosures with Thunderbolt 5 support in fact, delivering data transfer speeds of up to 80 gigabits per second. When paired with machines like the Apple M4 Pro chip, it can actually outperform the computer's internal SSD. This means faster file transfers, quicker imports, and zero lag while editing or working directly from the drive. The enclosure is not only a highly functional accessory, but also a beautifully crafted piece of technology. Its sleek and minimalist design seamlessly integrates with any modern workspace or setup thanks to its elegant aluminum alloy finish. The refined surface and polished edges create a professional aesthetic while still being engineered to be both sturdy and lightweight, providing a premium feel while making it easy to carry on the go and ensuring it remains portable without compromising strength or protection. In terms of performance, the design doesn't just focus on looks. The enclosure is meticulously designed to offer optimal heat dissipation. Vents on either side draw in cool air, while the built-in cooling fan effectively regulates the temperature of the SSD as well as the other components within, preventing overheating during extended use by exhausting the warm air up and away from the internals. Other than the single Thunderbolt 5 port on one end, for which a cable is of course supplied within the package, we find a switch for manually toggling the internal fan on or off, even though the drive is designed to start and stop the cooling fan according to its internal thermals. In other words, it's all automatic. That elegant design doesn't mean compromises on use or drive installation. In fact, it's a completely tool-free procedure. Simply pull the top cover away from one end and you're presented with the M2 NVMe SSD slot. That's really all there is to it. Curiosity tends to get the better of me and I do like to have a look inside though, so by removing the plastic cover, we reveal the internal circuitry, under which we have that really well-sized cooling fan. Note the fan is designed to primarily cool the internal components, particularly that Intel JHL9480 chipset, which is why it's located on the side of the board with the vital components that run hot during use. Any actual SSD cooling is a bonus, since the SSD is more passively cooled via contact with the external case housing, which acts as a large heatsink. Talking of SSDs then, compatible with drives of up to 8TB in capacity, note that as with most enclosures of this nature, SSDs with integrated heatsinks are not recommended due to their physical size. Also, Thunderbolt 5 is based on the PCIe Gen 4 protocol, so Gen 5 SSD drives are not compatible here. You'll be best served with a WD Black SN850 or my personal favourite, the Samsung 990 Pro series of SSDs. 2280 sized drives fit best, although plastic adapters are supplied to elongate smaller drives should you prefer. Either way, the drive slides easily into place and is held in position with a rubber grommet on the opposite end. Thermal pads are included for making contact with the external case, which in effect acts as the SSD's heatsink. Finally, snap the top plate back down with spring loaded bearings holding it securely in place. Although most of the common interfaces are supported, of course a Thunderbolt 5 port is required for the best performance, after which you'll want to format your drive in your native file format, so I'm going with APFS for the Mac platform. Jumping straight into a Blackmagic disk speed test, and we immediately notice this mind-blowing performance that's easily on par, if not even higher than the performance for most internal connected SSDs. Seriously, it's ridiculously fast. Released in the third quarter of 2024, the Intel JHL9480 chipset was designed for this precise purpose, to provide high speed data transfer and versatile connectivity for high performance peripherals, and it's certainly performing well here, almost taking us to the limits of the SSD's own capabilities. 
to ensure stable operation under high load, the active heat dissipation design with that built-in turbo fan automatically ramps up as and when required, even though you do of course have a physical button to start and stop the fan should the need arise. While the fan noise is minimal, it's actually not very distracting at all to be fair. There's no status light for the fan so you won't know whether it's spinning unless you put the case next to your ear or listen out very closely to ensure it's on. Otherwise, at just a foot or two away, you hardly notice it's even active, not a distraction at all. Thanks to that cooling system, throughout longer usage sessions I've had no overheating or drive throttling issues at all. Larger file transfers complete in a very short space of time, just like working completely within the internal drive. No longer do we need those ridiculously priced Apple computer SSD upgrades when purchasing a new system. Simply pick up an enclosure like this at a fraction of the cost and run your home directory straight off it with ease, maintaining the same, sometimes even better performance than the internal drive in the first instance. In summary then, this enclosure is clearly built for speed and versatility, perfect for upgrading your storage, handling high resolution video files, or simply keeping your projects backed up and safe. With Thunderbolt 5 performance you get ultra fast data transfers in a compact, professional grade design, so if you're after the fastest possible way to store or edit your data, this Acasis Thunderbolt 5 enclosure is certainly the way to go, it's the fastest external drive I've ever tested period.